Welcome back, everybody, for another AoE 2 DE custom campaign. And this is a new one. This is going to be Alexander Nevsky. And it is going to be by somebody who I whose campaigns I've never played before. Manu La Capuche, I believe, is how you pronounce it. Um, but I've heard a lot of really good things about this one. Even just, like, the background map looks awesome and, like, the whole logos and everything. Um... So yeah, I'm I'm excited for this one. And I guess before I jump in, I gotta say that uh, one of my my favorite movies as a little kid, and like one of the things that got me into history was the uh, was it 1937 Sergei Eisenstein uh, Soviet film Alexander Nevsky, which my dad showed me at age four, not Age of Empires four, when I was four years old. And uh, well, that was that's a, always you know Nevsky's always had a special place in my heart. And I also like playing Slavs, so this should be fun. Uh, the Venice of the North, as, fan as foreigners fancy calling this wealthy center of trade. The Republic of Novgorod has never been more thriving than now, and yet day after day, as the light slowly shrinks within the long Russian winter, hope seems to vanish a uh, more, little, little more into the darkness. Each day, more scoundrels pushed into banditry come marauding uh, the land, and more refugees, Rus and nomads alike, come crawling at the gates in a last attempt to save their lives, reaching as far north as they can. Soon the Rus would face uh, such distress and destruction that they have never come close to imagine. Batu Khan of the Golden Horde was determined to bring doom to Europe, and the Rus were in his way. Meanwhile, like wild beasts sensing flesh, Swedish pirates venture closer and closer, while the German crusaders from Livonia drool at Novgorod's riches. Uh, now the corgi wants out. Oh, boy. Every time, man. While the rich boyars and patricians of Novgorod had clung to their autonomy and independence, uh, but the Republic also kept the tradition of inviting and dismissing powerful princes from different Rus' principalities in order to ward off invaders, and now more than ever, they needed such a prince. Uh, it was at... It was as such that Yaroslav had fought relentlessly all kinds of invaders during the years before, as shrewd politicians, uh, as much as powerful ruler, Yaroslav, uh, in a flash of genius, dev oh, I can barely read this, devised a state that would uh, reshape the future of the Rus forever. When he traveled south to Kiev uh, to sit on its throne, however, he sent out uh, one of his wittier son, uh, Alexander uh, Yaroslavich, age only 16 or something, and I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's do some Rus. Some Slavs. Nevsky's actually always been in uh, AOE 2 as a hero unit. Uh, oh. At last. At uh, last. As a hero unit. Got great melee armor like a boyar. Novgorod countryside, 1236 AD. Oh. Oh, we're actually just playing a cyan. Okay, Alexander must survive. Bring Alexander to Novgorod's fortress and meet with uh, Posadnik, Lord Mayor. Okay, in this scenario, uh, 75 pop limit and cannot reach the Imperial Age. You cannot constru construct siege workshops, castles, or any kind of fortifications beside towers. Monasteries cannot be constructed either, but monasteries of Novgorod might provide their help down the line. Because of the harsh Russian winter, farms are not available and docks cannot be constructed anywhere. Uh, although the land is teeming with game and fish, scattered and isolated teams of hunters make for easy prey from enemy parties roaming around. Alternatively, you may need to, need to breed pigs at mills, but this is a rather long process. The, the main resource of the region is fine quality timber. Large forests are everywhere and selling wood at the market in large quantity can represent a serious source of income. In this scenario, the only other way to get gold will be through ox carts traveling from Russian villages. Uh, to Novgorod in order to sell their uh, local production in the city. Each ox cart uh, reaching Novgorod provides Alexander with 10 gold from taxes on their merchandise. Uh, protecting the uh, villagers is one of the main objectives in this scenario. A village is considered destroyed if the Izba, or our farmstead building, is raised. The Izba not only spawns ox carts, but also provides you with 5 bonus population space. That means each village destroyed decreases your maximum population by 5 from 75. Oh boy. Dang. Take the time to visit Novgorod and talk to characters signaled out by glowing units. Help, uh, helping these local dignitaries will provide you with powerful texts and other stuff. 
your main objective is to accumulate 10,000 gold for tribute to Batu Khan uh, for the Golden Horde. Once you've reached this amount, you'll have to load the gold into an armored wagon using your town center. As you cannot construct additional town centers, you will lose uh, the game if, the, if it's destroyed. Oh boy. After his father's departure for Kiev, Alexander Yaroslavich has recently been invited to the Republic of Novgorod to be instituted as prince, as it is a tradition to pick a son from the ruling families of the Rus as a military leader. As such, Alexander will command the militia of Novgorod. Alexander's father wants to forge diplomatic ties with the Mongols. At the eve of a major invasion on the Rus, he knows that only the princes who learn to bend the knee will see the morrow of it. The Golden Horde of Batu Khan, commanded by the mighty Suotai is poised to launch a major invasion into the Rus and then all of Europe. Only politics can decide who will live and who shall perish with their peoples, as military opposition is totally vain. Uh, Batu Khan expects a large tribute if he is even to consider Yaroslav's arguments. If the tribute's uh, re uh, requirements are not met, Yaroslav, his family, and all his position are facing total annihilation. Oh boy. Uh, Novgorod has its own government, dominated by the local boyars and family of patricians, from which the represent representatives like the Posadnik are picked. Uh, they can defend stuff. Then there are some bandits. Then there are some refugees. Then there are the Swedes. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, they're going to be raiding us. And then the German Crusaders are also probably going to be raiding us. Oh man. So much stuff that I am 1,050% going to forget. Anyway, here's Scenic Novgorod. Over there, friend. Come share a drink with us. Why, sure, old buddy, old pal. The townsfolk won't let us in their walls. We That's came mean. By cattle, and now we are stuck out there without food. Bring us fifteen sheep, and we will fight for you. Alrighty. Bash is clearly excited about those fifteen sheep. Wait. Oh, wait. No, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. What a lovely place. Uh, we are in the feudal age. <laughs> That's a worker. Petards are always workers, man. I like the, the town design. It looks great. Ah, here they are. It's Posadnik. I hope the road from Kiev was easy on you. Easy peasy. My lord father has put me in charge here, and I bear instructions. We are to collect the tribute for the Khan, and Novgorod will contribute. Do you really mean to pay the Mongols? But Prince, we are already struggling against the incursions of the Germans and the Swedes. And that is why I am here. The Mongols are not our enemies. I will deal with the Swedes and the Germans. Now take me to the troops. I will pass them in review. Certainly, Prince. Follow me. I will show you the way. Well, how gentlemanly. Wait. Why? Wait. Dip. 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 <sighs> Alexander. Getting a little bit lost, it seems. The city's big, man. Is it this the best you got? Did you really mean to fend off <laughs> yeah, seriously. Rabble, let alone crusaders? I will take over the training of the men. Where are the boyars? Well, you know that we manage our own government in Novgorod. You will have to earn the trust of the boyars, the merchants, or the archbishop if you want their support. As long as the requirements of the tribute to the Khan are met. For now, the priority is to protect the villages outside the city from raiding parties. The villagers send their local production to the city okay. and sell it there for gold. That's where we levy taxes. Your own estate awaits you in the countryside, but most of your revenues will come from the taxes on the peasants. Enough talking. We must get ready to defend the villages. Alrighty. Got eight villages. Um, okay. Got the 10,000 gold. Take control of the village. Alrighty. Let's get control of the village, sort of get set up, and then we'll bring Alexander back uh, to Novgorod so we can start doing those quests.
Oh, that's the tribute. Uh, and we are already housed. That is less than great. Oh yeah, we can't, uh, we can't farm, but we can breed pigs for 17 wood. And they cost population space. Alrighty, so, um, I guess we should split up our forces a little bit. Not entirely sure how this is all gonna go down. Anyway, let's start doing some quests and stuff. Oh, look how slow those carts are, man. Okay, so there's a dude over here. Vitiaz. The of Novgorod won't go into battle without the St. George banner that was stolen away by bandits. Bring it back to me, and then we will fight for you, Alexander. All right, you got it. Oh, it's so, so comically slow. I'm liking this so far, though. Um... Okay, so we don't know where the bandits are hanging out just yet. Might as well just do wheelbarrow now. Alright, let's keep exploring. And what I also should be doing... Oh, uh, let's just take a scout and, well, scout. Anything over here? There's a town center. <laughs> There's the Archbishop. Alexander, if you manage to retrieve the lost relic of Saint Nicetas and bring it back to safety in the cathedral, the clergy of Novgorod will forever be in your debt. Alrighty. So I gotta go find a relic cart. Uh, we can reach the castle age, so we should hopefully be thinking about that fairly soon. I'd like to get maybe a few more villagers. I have to remember that we can't be building any farms. Unfortunate since we're Slavs, man. But what can you do? Where are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, anyone left over there? The Swedes? Um, it's a little tricky. Whoops. Okay. Um. Where's, where is young Alexander? Um. So maybe the Swedes are up that way. I was like, oh, there's a glowing unit. Oh wait, that's me. Oh wait, do we need another building? Anyway, our resources are looking decent for now. I mean, I'm sure we'll be doing lots of different stuff in the campaign. Oh, oh, they're literally coming in via transport. Uh, but there's a bandit camp. So let's go and uh, try and take the offensive, except you. Oh wait, we have to find sheep for this guy. Um, because it's going to be almost impossible to actually get the sheep through Novgorod itself, I'm going to hope that there's just sheep to the east of the city. Because like the chances of stuff getting converted is very, very high. Uh, 
Cannot click. All right. The banditos. Oh, there's a relic. Oh, there's the banner thing. And there are some crusaders attacking our trade routes. Literally, like, they are quite literally attacking our trade routes. Oh, dang. I would never underestimate my enemies. Oh my god. Oh yeah, 4-4 the four, four armor. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna go with knights here. Well, that didn't go so well. Uh, maybe I can sneak you guys out. Right, let's get you. Yeah, it's only a 75 pop limit. Just need to be mindful of that. Let's go look for some sheepers. Take that boar. Get some knights going. These lands are ours now. When will you rush on the next Oh, the accent. Absolutely top tier. Oh, here are two sheep. That's like 15. Your city looks your stride for plunder. Oh my god, these accents are wonderful. Uh oh. Oh god! I, I don't get the do to do sound. Ah! Wait, why do I have plus two armor? I don't know. Dang. Uh, food. Some over here. Kinda need to be careful. Okay, we can take that. Okay, let's stop that from happening. Yes, there's a couple more. Uh, oh wait, I can use the market. Oh yeah, because uh, selling wood is always viable, like they said. Oh god. Well, I hope they don't have chieftains. Yeah, I don't know where out the hell I'm gonna get sheep over there. All right. With all of those figurative and literal fires put out, let's get over here. Never mind. Well, let's see if we can take this relic. How do I get this? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you be attacking that. Oh, uh, I need to get my butt moving. 
Not the ox cart. Step iron casting. Take down you guys. Still only plus one, plus one. Three sheep. Prince Alexander, where were you? You know, I was out getting sheep. Very important task. Uh, is there like a book? Yeah, you can totally go over here. Oh no! Um... I hope this is okay. Oh yeah, there's another bandit camp over here-ish. But all the villages are to the west. One of the villages has been sacked and destroyed by the invaders. No! Where? Seriously, where? Oh, missed that one. Well, uh, maybe we can save this one? It's got 3,000 HP. Still not super sure how I'm supposed to be getting anywhere near 10k gold. Especially without farms. Freaking Teutonic Knights, man. Whoa, 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 okay. No, we can't go that way. Uh, I cannot. Oh, I actually can't make another mill over there. Oops. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need sheep. I don't know. Is there anything else in Novgorod that I should be, kn be knowing about? Hey, what happened to the banner? I forgot about that. Oh god. Oh sheep! Oh, that's right, my maximum population has decreased. That's not great.
The saints are truly with you, Prince Alexander. We will follow in battle and bestow our military experience upon you. Drusiana. Interessant. Well, I mean, I guess I could go. Nah, uh, infantry's never gonna be like. I, I don't have the pop space to ever really get to a good number of infantry. The corgi goes in, and now he's barred. One of my ships has sunk, and its cargo dropped somewhere on the river banks. If you manage to retrieve it and to bring it back to me, the guild will reward you greatly. But Slavs don't get guilds. Somewhere on the riverbank. Alrighty. I don't think that's it. Um, One of the villages has been where? and destroyed by the invaders. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, now we're only at 65 pop limit. Awesome. Where is this shipwreck? And that's a relic, not a relic cart, so we can't do anything with it. Wait a minute, that's not a friend. N nor are you. Okay, there's a bunch of deer over there. Yeah, definitely can't go that way. Okay, I need four more sheep. One of the villages has been sacked and destroyed by the Oh, invaders. that's right. I forgot about those. Where are these? Don't have the pop space for this man. One of the villages has been Where? destroyed by the invaders. Oh my god, we only have half our villages left. Oh my god, and that one's about to go down too. We have like nothing to work with. One of the villages has been sacked and destroyed by Oh the god. Peasants. I miserably failed to protect our peasants in their Whoops. Homes. We will never reach the Khan's expectations. This is a total disaster. Whoops. Um Well, let's make sure these ones don't go down. Wait, why am I not sending villagers to repair these buildings? Remonting. 
Oh, does that one literally have to go down? Yeah. One of the villages has been sacked and destroyed by the invaders. Still looking for stuff. Oh, there it is. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can go over that way. Wait, what is this thing with the shipwreck? Oh, it's the cargo. It's over here. Just wolves. Just me. Hey, this looks like cargo. That must be the lost cargo the merchant talked about. Let's park all these boots and escort the cart back to him. Alrighty. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I honestly just need to be deleting these villagers. I get you. <laughs> Wait. Where's the cargo? Did it make it back? Maybe it died. That would be truly unfortunate. So, um, we're at 118 gold right now. Not too sure how we're going to get 10k. At least not, like, anytime remotely soon. <laughs> Oh yeah, get some pigs. Maybe we can get those over to the Tatars, man. No, I don't need more pigs. Well, now that I have few enough locations that I guess I can defend them. I guess I, I could just sell massive amounts of wood. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. Wouldn't the objective go away if the, uh... If, like, I couldn't achieve it anymore or something? I mean, it seems like they're just very consistently attacking these two. So, I mean, that certainly makes my life easier, I guess. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, trade cart is super dead. So where'd that relic cart go? that. You go over there. Hopefully pigs count as sheep. Currently at 755 gold. 65. Not the most impressive amount. Oh, wait. Did my relic cart um, go back to... Um... Green or something? Not sure. Wait, there's another bandit camp over there. You guys split up and look. So let's get light cav. Make some more light cav or something. Need one more sheep. Okay, if I were a relic cart, I would still be over here. What the heck? Close enough. Okay, let's bring you to the cathedral. Let's also bump you up to times eight speed. Personally, I think it'd be great if I could get this done within the next millennium. May God bless you 1,000 times, Alexander. You now have the full help of Novgorod's clergy and the strength of our faith. And we even get orthodoxy. Awesome. So, we can plant a monk over there. Oops. And a monk over here. Okay, honestly, you're probably doing more harm than good. Okay.
and still need one more freaking sheep. But yeah, hopefully getting that relic will give us that little bit of permanent gold income. Hopefully these like have will be enough. Oh, it's a relic. Bait you out. Freaking defensive stance. Whatever, it's just a watchtower. It's just a tanky crossbowman. Oh, and you even have sheep. Oh man, you guys you guys have it all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sheep time. All right, now we can go get our other relic. Get you guys back. Thank you, Fritz. Yay! You are safe from starvation. We will join your back. What are these Tatar Savides doing in the city? The answer to me, troll. Troll! Come on. Come on. Okay, good. Back to work. All right. Is there anything else I can do? I don't think there was anyone else. Like, I screwed up with the the trade cart. Which kind of sucks, but what can you do? guys could like go deal with that that'd be awesome oops okay sure why not I think they're neutral to us.
Got two relics. Yeah. Guess you can take that. Sure, why not? All right, all that's taken care of. Wait, why aren't you healing? Go get him. Whatever. Repair that. I guess I should go for some archers. I don't know why I'm not. Well, I guess they cost gold, right? Still, I'll probably have a much easier time uh, keeping them alive and even getting damage done on my own. So let's go for some uh, cover archers. You're taken care of. And you are. We're like halfway there, guys. Except I want to make some more cav archers because I am scared. I'm a scared little wolf man. I don't know why these monks aren't auto healing. It's annoying. For some reason, they don't attack my hero units. Not that I'm complaining. I 
no, they do attack my villagers. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Where is my gold already? Perhaps I should raise I'm working on it. Yeah, this monk is auto healing. of kings. We are A-OK. -okay. Okay, are they, like, all going over here now? Get them. I mean, these are fully upgraded cav archers because we have thumb ring, remember? Okay, now they're back over there. Now they're back over here. Keep up with those oinkers, man. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if there's like something really obvious that I'm missing. But this is taking a super long time. Some cav archers there. Some kind of light cav, why not? Almost there. Yes. Tribute. Now loaded up a wagon and quick. Um, Dirt, I have to bring this somewhere. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then everything seems like it's in slow motion. Okay, I'm bored again. The armored wagon has been loaded and is ready to head to the Khan's court at Karakorum. Okay. Um. What flagged area? Going east? Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's just a regular war wagon. In terms of stats. So where is the Golden Horde? They have 2,500 score. All right, you guys got this. <gasps> no. We're just gonna sneak it through. Gonna sneak it through. Excellent. The convoy <laughs> way to the con. Now we can fully focus on those pesky Swedes and those. They German are very. Leaders. I never got. I never got those <laughs> off. Oh my god. I'm so bad. Oh, now I have to do the IR winner thing. Uh, yeah, it's the, the bug in DE. Those give me a second to look at the stats. I had a good KD. Oh my god. that timeline I'm sure that was very painful for you guys to watch I am sorry hey, it's me hi guys glad to make a cameo and I, I think it's a really cool idea I just think that either I screwed something up or it's just way too slow my guess would be that I screwed something up I'm still not too sure where the golden horde is I love the map design, too. Yeah, the Swedes just keep on spawning in over here. Alrighty. Okay, so I have to go to here, and then here. Not the Easy peasy. Facing the Mongol onslaught, there were only two paths for the different rulers of the Rus to follow. Those who took the path of Clash of Arms not only saw their own demise and their entire lineage eradicated from the face of the world, but also brought doom to their land and people. Those few who chose the second path, however, managed to evade the annihilation for a while. Yaroslav not only, not only preemptively submitted to the Mongol Khan, but quickly initiated diplomatic relations with him, delivering massive amounts of silver and gold as tribute. Uh, leaving a, a trail of destruction behind it, Subutai's army suddenly stopped before Novgorod and turned on its heels, leaving Novgorod and most of Yaroslav's own estates intact. But Yaroslav did not bow to the Mongols out of fear, though, but only of his own strategy. Yaroslav had long realized that the Rus, even united, could never fight both the Westerners and the Mongols at the same time, as the heavy tributes would feel. Uh, the, this weight would be nothing compared to the price of war on all fronts. Now a vassal of the Golden Horde and confirmed by the Khan as Prince of Kiev, Yaroslav tasked the young Alexander to defend Novgorod against its true enemies. Alright guys, that is going to be it for me in this scenario, and I'll see you guys next time for the Battle of the Neva.